68 to Hustler, Michael Barnes, 50, Dave Brule in row number two, picking up the pace now, coming down out of the corner, the green flag is out as Danzer makes a good run on the outside and he takes the lead. Danzer into the lead down here in turn number one, but Abel staying on the inside has to back out. Danzer off that outside front row starting spot, grabs off the early lead. It's Michael Muldoon at the back of the field. Craig Harris took the 14 into the pits as Danzer is out in front. Abel second, eight laps down, 27 remaining. The 68, here's the zero hero down to the inside. And fourth, off that fourth corner, a good battle going on back here. You got LeVay, Gosick, Lavery, Bond, Muldoon, and Iosu all in a bunch. Now here goes Gosick down to the inside, gets by the 83 of LeVay Jr. He gets through there and Lavery comes around the 15 of Muldoon down the front straight. It's still a tough battle as Muldoon pace. Danzer takes the green in turn number three. Look it on the outside. Making a run in the high road. It is Dave Gruel. And Gruel picks up one spot going by the hustler, Michael Barnes. Three. Into the corner they go, green flag is out, and Gruel does not have a chance to do that, but Barnes is back underneath Gruel, coming down the front straight. Gruel on the outside, but he hangs on. Barnes goes to fourth. Sinnerly on the outside, got by the 21 of Cody Graham. Now goes to work on the 68 of Barnes, so Sinnerly moves up from the number six spot. Trying to walk on the outside of Barnes. Sitterly in the seven. Charging down the front straight. Dancer out in front. And Sitterly up into the fourth position. Otto Sitter. Gruel. 50 of Gruel hanging out the number three spot. The podium finished position. Sitterly right there with him running in fourth. Checkered flag is out. The win goes to the 52 of Dave Dancer. 05 finishes in second. Jeff Abel. Third is the 50 of Gruel. The seven of Sitterly is fourth. 68 of Barnes. It's getting better. It's getting a little better. Car's really bottoming out really bad. I spun out a couple times because hitting the ground really bad, but probably raise the right heights up a little bit in the second feature. I think we have a really good handle on car. It's the best it's been in a while, so got a little tweaking to do, but other than that, I gotta thank my guys for all the hard work today and thanks to the fans coming out and joining Twin 35s. Hope you hopefully the SBS and the Supers put on a good show here the rest of the night for you guys. Yeah, you know, I, I think the way we've had the car this year, um, we we finally come out and, and been fairly consistent. And the, the car, we're not the fastest car during the day and everything, but come race time, the thing is just a, a rocket ship, really. But, um, you know, a couple weeks in a row here with Dan, uh, David here, we got to stop making a habit out of this with him on the out, outside there and taking the lead from me. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it's something I think, um, you know, if you have a fast enough race car, you can run out front. Um, it's definitely conducive to doing that. So I think we got a nice shot at the second one here, and uh, we can put a put together a pretty nice night for ourselves, I think. Yeah, um, at the end, it actually started uh, loading up a little bit on the cautions. So I had the car to do it, just uh, the motor wouldn't clear out fast enough to be able to get back out there on the outside. And I was definitely looking forward to every opportunity on one of those restarts, because the car was working. And however David was uh, restarting there, I was able to use it to my advantage. So. Uh, for, we had a pretty good car tonight and uh, to finish third and head into the second feature here. Really looking forward to it. All right, green lights ready to come on, and down they come, coming off that corner, and a good drag race coming down the front straightaway. Really good. As a matter of fact, on the outside, Jesse Barra goes to the outside. Cameron Rowe on the inside. Cameron comes up to the point. Cameron goes up to the number one spot and look at Jack Patrick in the mighty Mopar car number nine. He works on the bottom part of the speedway. Craig Harris, car number 04, working right down onto the inside to pick up the number three spot. Patrick, the fastest car in the field right now. Patrick. Cars go by here, got down here. The right front of Dalton Doyle is up over the left front of Andrew Shartner. Looks like there's front end damage to both cars. They're going to pick both of them up, I think, and take. Our speed camera right down there on track side. And one car getting up into the wall and coming around. I believe that is the Andrew Shartner car number four coming off at turn number four and bringing them down here in the front straightaway. Patrick again with the quick lap. Check it. Barry Kingsley back there in the number 12 spot. Just turned the quickest lap of the race. He went a 19.985. All freight training down into the tricky number three corner, down onto the inside. Craig Harris, we got a new leader coming off of turn number four and down the front straightaway. It is Jack Patrick in that mighty Mopar. We got a car slowing down right behind. They move up to the outside, and let's see if they're going to be able to freight train them. 
Patrick going up onto the outside. And Patrick, they may have touched tires. Now they pull it up and go down, and we got a new second place running car. Dave Cliff in car number 50, Chevrolet Power, in that number two spot right now. Bringing it down in with nine completed laps, 21 laps to go. Patrick, Dave Cliff, Harris, Rob Pullen, three and four. Working off at of turn four down that front straightaway. It's Patrick Cliff. Cliff now dropping back just a little bit, and here is Pullen now. Rob Pullen taking a look down onto the inside. Pullen taking a look going down that back straightaway into turn number three, and he is down on the inside of Craig Harris, moving down off of turn four and down the front straightaway. Moving down into turn number one. Cliff is still second, but pull here third. Craig Harris running in the number four spot, racing down eight laps to go, going down into turn number one. Here is Dave Cliff onto the inside. He's got a quarter of a car onto the inside of Jack Patrick's Mopar, but right now it's the Mopar laps to go. Patrick, Cliff, one and two. Patrick leading, and he gets up high off of turn number two. This could be the difference in the race right here. No, they race down the back straightaway. It's still Patrick up there in a number of charge up. Here is Pullen coming on strong. Top three cars going down in the turn number three. Scorers stand by. This one is going to be close. Down they come off that fourth corner. Jack Patrick in the Mopar. He wins it. Cliff Pullen. Parrot and Mike Bruce. Yeah, Dave was right there. Uh, I felt him a few times on my bumper. He raced me pretty clean though, but once I knew he was there, I just picked it up and I had to go. Yeah, uh, that caution around lap 10 kind of posed me a little bit because I just got under Jack coming down the front stretch, but after that I knew he was going to make it tough because he knew I was there obviously when uh, I got alongside of him. But uh, it was a fun race. I mean, I love racing hard, racing clean like that. and. Uh, I tried everything I could. He ran just a perfect line. I just didn't have enough. Uh, I was better in one and two, but he was a little better through three and four. So I just uh, ended up second tonight. Uh, it's working a lot better now. Um, made a few changes. I know we finished second last week, but the car wasn't that good. But made a whole bunch of changes just last night, and it worked out for the better. Brandon Bellinger back in row number two. Starting to pick the pace up now. Coming between three and four. Off the fourth corner, green flag is out. And Abel gets the job. Bellinger up into the number two spot. LeVay running third, but boy, oh boy, he's got some chargers behind him. And a spin dancer. And up on the air, up upside down is Gosick. And the seven of Sitterly is over there, zero. Dave Danzer got out of shape down here in the first straight. Yeah, and then he got, uh, he got, yeah, by, oh man. Gosick just kind of pirouetted on top of the little bit of panel damage on the back. He's got a Nerf bar into the tire, but I don't think there's any damage there. There is some wing damage on the front. Suspension looks decent from here. Eric Iosu sitting in his car. He's waiting to see if uh, that. Out of the fourth corner again. It's a ball left that outside, and the green flag comes out. A ball jumping out in front. LeVay running second. Bellinger moves into the number three spot. Battle going on for fourth. Danny Connors and Dave Gruel. Connors on the inside. Gruel the outside. Gruel on the charge. Gruel takes over. Moving up on the outside now. Comes the 55. It is the 55 Champagne that has moved up to fourth. The 50 of Gruel now running in fifth. Here's Bellinger working underneath the 83 of LeVay. Can't make the move down into turn number three. But they got that car running now. Had engine problems earlier, but right now the O2 is on the charge. Here comes the hustler on the outside, Michael Barnes. Barnes working on the 55 of Keith Champagne. Jeff Abel down in front. Louis LeVay running second. Bellinger is in third. Champagne and they, they're Gruel and Champagne and Barnes all racing for a spot. And we got another spin, three cars in it. Three cars involved. 83 LeVay trying to hang with them as they come off the corner. Down the front straight. Starting in lap number three. Here's the 68 of Michael Barnes, the hustler. Down to the inside of the 55 of Keith Champagne. And Barnesy is through there to take over second. Barnes now running, or take over fourth rather. Barnes running fourth. Champ on the outside. The hustler going to make a run in the high groove. Coming out of turn number four. Down to the front straight. Bellinger inside, Barnes outside, and Barnes is through there to take over the number three spot. Bellinger trying to battle back on the inside. Barnes stays on the outside, and he's going to put a wheel to the high side of the number 83 of LeVay, and the hustler takes over the number two spot. 
Abel out in front, Barnes running second, LeVay, Tiger, and the Barnes goes to the pits. A problem on the number 68. He started to throw some sparks, but he got a flat tire. Barnes in the number 68 because he right now. Nine of the 19 cars are on the track. Everybody else is in the pits. Here's Bellinger now down to the inside of LeVay down in turn number three. Bellinger takes over the number two spot. Bellinger running second. He is a full straightaway behind the 05 of Jeff Abel. We are running in lap number 13. Here's Gruel now and Bond in a battle. Gruel and Bond battling behind the 83 of LeVay. Bond gets through there, takes the spot. Here comes the 15 of Muldoon trying to get in. This is the backup 15. And Bond down to the inside goes by LeVay. Bond takes over the number. Get up as high as 10th, believe it or not. And he's going very slow. Abel goes around him on the outside. Yeah, one lap picks up uh, three spots for him. Right on. And Jeff Abel about to pick up his first ever Oswego uh, Speedway Super Modified feature win. Abel getting the win in a very strange race. Bellinger and Bond. Podium finishes. Well, his first time in victory lane. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've seen it. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's that's for sure too. Um, just as like I said before, I uh, I can't thank these guys enough. This has been uh, a long three years with this car. Um, I can't tell you what this means to me. It's uh, this is something that I've dreamed of since I've been coming to the Speedway, uh, watching my dad growing up. Um, this means more to me than anything I've achieved in my racing career. And uh, this one victory, this one night in our home-built car, uh, my dad and I slaved on, and then uh, all these other guys and everything that we have here uh, doing all the work that they're doing, sticking with me and keeping me going, because there's plenty of times I wanted to quit over the last couple years, and uh, they kept me going in this. And this, um, this is more meaningful to me than anything I've, I've achieved. Uh, the, we actually, a valve spring broke in the first race, and the motor started skipping, and it was puffing smoke, so I pulled in, and. Uh, I don't know, my, we, luckily we were able to scrounge up enough parts to get it back together. We changed the valve spring and the rock arm here during the, during the other feature and you know, managed to get it back together, get out here and run, run the second feature. So second's a lot better than the first feature. Ah, I would have liked to win this tonight, but these guys are running pretty good and it's tough out there.